We are growing at The Grove. Our vision is to be a growing church for growing people whom Christ will use in growing his kingdom. Don't forget your Partner of the Month nominations due every fourth Sunday. Join us for Vision Night at 6.30 p.m. on January the 13th, 2014. All partners of The Grove are welcomed to attend as Pastor Faison discusses the detailed vision for 2014. Watson Grove is accepting applications for our church van driver for a full job description and application. Please go to our website, www.watsongrovembc.org, or see Reverend Margaret Smithson, church administrator, today following service. Watch Night 2013. Meet us at The Grove on December the 31st for one of our two Watch Night services. We will be bringing in the new year at both of our 7 p.m. or 10.30 p.m. services. We also will have Children's Church at 10.30, as well as encouraging everyone to bring a non-perishable food item to replenish our food bank. See you there, Watch Night 2013. Meet Bob. Bob's been coming to church for a while now. Amidst the busyness of work and life, he wants to grow closer to the Lord, but he feels like something's missing. He reads his Bible, well, sometimes. He's attending a home group and even listening to podcasts of old sermons. But try as he might, he just feels like something's missing. Then Bob heard a teaching on giving financially. He felt a little convicted, knowing that he and his family were not regularly tithing 10%. But he wondered, Does God really command me to give the first 10% to the church? Does the church really even need the money? What's in it for me? Why should I give? Bob decided to dig a little deeper and look into it for himself. So he opened his Bible and really didn't know where to look. So he Googled Bible passages about money. He was very surprised to find a large number of verses about tithing and not just in the Old Testament. Jesus himself taught about tithing to the local church. Now Bob was really feeling convicted. He was beginning to see why the tithe was so important. It wasn't about the church needing money or trying to scam him in some way. It was a question of the heart. Bob repented of his disobedience and he started to return the first 10% of his income to God. He was pleasantly surprised to see breakthroughs in many areas of his life. His relationship with his children, his marriage, and even his finances began to improve. Bob thought back to one of the verses that he'd read about the time. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out my blessing upon you. Put God to the test. Sign up for the Prove Me campaign today. Visit our website, watsongrovembc.org, for more details. Stay connected to us by following us on Twitter, liking us on Facebook, texting The Grove, no space, to 55469, or for more information about our announcements or church, check out our website, www.watsongrovembc.org.